Hi, folks. This is Charles Butler, the host of The Reality Check with Charles Butler on Red State Talk Radio. Two things I'd like to cover with you today before we move forward, and that is have a happy Easter. Hope you have some time to spend with your family and friends. Uh, and uh, two, want to wish um, uh, those of you out there who have birthdays around this time a happy birthday. My mother's birthday would have been today. She would have been uh 86 years old, bless her heart, sweet woman. Hey, uh, the other thing is Michigan won yesterday. We beat uh, um, we beat uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Sister, uh, whatever her name was, um, God. We beat everybody yesterday and Loyola. <laughs> so we had to beat all these teams plus the referees who wouldn't give Wagner Bergner a, a foul. Uh, but anyway, we overcame and that's what you do. You, um, you in, innovate and, and overcome in situations of adversity. So, uh, moving right along, I ran across an article today in the paper that was talking about this, uh, sitting judge in, uh, on Long Island who had gone into his neighbor's house. This is in Suffolk County in New York gone into his neighbor's house and tried to steal a 20-year-old young lady's panties. Now, what he was going to do with these panties is quite unclear. Smell them, wear them, put them on his head. Who knows? But he could have gotten his wife panties, I think, if he wanted some panties. But I guess it wasn't the right kind of smell. <laughs> so look, so last week, so last week we had Stormy Daniels. And then we had, uh, this week, we have a judge with panties that he's stealing to smell. You know, we are a society that has lost all our morals and values. We've lost our moral compass. And remember, I, I always quote this, to John Adams, a founder of the Constitution, said that the Constitution was written only for a moral and religious people. Now, you can take that any way you want, and you can define morality any way that you want to define morality. But morality is fine is defined very specifically in the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran. So if you don't believe in any of these things, morals and religion, then you can try to get away with doing whatever you want to do as long as you want to do it, and it doesn't hurt anybody. That's the lie that liberals try to sell. I don't buy into that. Because you know what? What I want to do is never uh, uh, in favor with what the liberals want to do because they always want things their way. And their way is I consider kind of demonic and satanic, uh, if you ask me. So I don't know what's going to happen to this judge, but he's going to be he's going to be uh, arraigned and tried in Nassau County and Bordering County, and we'll see what happens. Well, my team lost today. Chelsea lost to Tottenham Spur. Tottenham Spur finally won after I think fifty years. They won a game in. The Chelsea Stadium. I want to get over and see a game later this year in person. I always try to do that, you know, and uh, try to do that again this year. Hey, look, uh, enjoy your Easter Sunday. Um, we're not dealing with any Stormy Daniels today on 60 Minutes. Laura Ingram. Laura Ingram, Ingram gets busted out, and I'm boycotting the advertisers who pulled off her show. And the reason I'm doing that is because this guy, David Ho, he's a fraud. What can David Ho tell me about gun violence? This is a boy who's probably scared of the dark. If you put David Ho in a room and close the door at night with the lights off, he'd probably start crying for his mother. I am sick and tired of liberal white people and conservative white people trying to capitulate to children. Start being adults and parents and, and teaching and guiding instead of trying to get along with this mindlessness. The brain doesn't mature until it's 25 years old at least. And you're listening to 16, 17, 18-year-olds talk about guns who know nothing about guns. If you ask them to define what an assault weapon is or how a gun works or anything, they don't know. I'm tired of it. And you know what? When Black Lives Matter was trying to talk about these gun issues and their fears, America ignored them. 
So don't talk to me about a double standard. Don't talk to me about there is no racism in America. So what would you attribute it to? Oh, we just didn't understand the problem. When last year in Chicago, so basically black and brown kids were shot. Over 360 kids were shot. The, 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 the previous year, 2016, it was like 290-something kids were shot. Children, youth, nobody gave a crap. David Hogue is a coward. The whole March for, your, for, for Our Lives is a cowardly uh, organization, a cowardly movement. I will never embrace it. I don't, you know, if you want to be safe, you suburban kids, then get metal detectors and armed guards like we have in the cities around uh, the country, you little cowards. Don't try to take my gun or our guns, you little backwards, ignorant young folks. I can't stand them. <laughs> and these are the people we're raising. Parents, start parenting. I don't like your kids. I don't think they're great because they have voices and they have verbal skills. They have no reasoning. You dumb people. Children have excellent verbal skills because you pop them in front of the TV and you prop them in front of things that speak. That's why they have excellent verbal skills, but their reasoning is flawed and it has been for years. And that's why these young people rank so low. Let me repeat, our young people, our high school students rank so low in academic testing because they're dumb and we're talking about following these dummies? Come on, give me a break. Hey, look, have a happy Easter and uh, tune in my show tomorrow, uh, 2 o'clock Eastern at redstatetalkradio.com.